Do you know what the coolest part of this song is? It's the fact that I didn't play any of these instruments. I literally dragged and dropped every piece into my project. So how did I do that? Well, I am so excited to share with you a resource that I've been working on for a long time called the Drag and Drop Chord Pack, where I've crafted nearly 500 tasty chords and their corresponding bass notes in a format that you can simply drag and drop into your projects without having to know how to play these chords or even to know the theory behind the chords. It's like the name says, you can simply drag them and drop them into your songs. So let me show you several examples of the chord pack in use. So how does this drag and drop chord pack work? It's pretty simple really. You'll get this zip file with 12 different keys and in each key you have more than 40 chords with their corresponding bass notes that you can simply drag and drop into your song. So within any given key there are basically seven primary chords which are marked here by this number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for each of those primary chords I've given you six different options to choose from. So you have a high high range chord, a mid range chord, a low range chord, a jazzy chord, a moody chord, and a tasty chord. And any of these chords you can simply grab and drag onto your software instrument track and then hit play. So that was the C major in the high range. I'm gonna drag in the C major in the mid range, C major in the low range, the C major jazzy version, the C major moody version, and the C major tasty version. So you have six different versions of the same chord and they sound like this. But here's something even cooler. You don't just have to use these chords on a piano track. You could switch it to say a synth keys part and it would sound like this. Or you could take it down to a pad and it would sound like this. So I think you get the point. It's not about the instruments I've chosen here. Any instrument within your library that's MIDI, that software, you can drag these chords onto it and it will play them automatically. And here's another really cool thing. You don't just get chord options, you also get the corresponding bass note for each chord. So you can drag that into your project, put it on a bass track, and now you have an automatic bass to play along with your chords. So the obvious next step is that we can take these chords and start building out chord progressions. And that's what I've done right here. I've taken the flavor note or the tasty version of C, A minor, F major, and G major. And then of course I dragged in their corresponding bass notes right here. And then on top of that, I created an automatic drum track that you can find in GarageBand right here. Now this doesn't come in the chord pack itself, but GarageBand, Logic, and most any recording software out there has some version of an auto drummer program. So now with my drag and drop chords on the piano, my drag and drop bass notes on the bass guitar, and my automatic drummer, we have this. Let's say that you want to use chords that have a more jazzy or more lo-fi feel to them. Well, you can just go through each chord and choose the jazzy or moody chords, drag and drop those in and make a progression just like I've done here. These are the jazzy and or moody chords in a C jazzy, F major jazzy, A minor seventh jazzy, and G add nine, that would be a moody chord. And then I've come down here and put their corresponding bass notes. I've added another automatic drummer. And with those three elements, you get this. example, I have started with a guitar chord progression. So maybe you're a guitar player, but you don't play keys. And I have here G, C, 
E minor and D, a very common chord progression. So for this example, I went to the key of G where I could find those G, C, E minor and D chords. And of course, I pulled in the G major low, the C major low, the E minor low, and the D major low. And then of course, I went through and got all of their corresponding bass notes, dragged and dropped those in, created another GarageBand automatic drummer. And with those four elements, you have this. example, I wanted to show the chord pack's versatility as we've looked at C major, we've looked at G major, these are very common keys, but what about one like B flat major? That's probably not something you play in very often, but there's some really beautiful chords in this pack. And so what I've done is I've gone through and chosen some of the tasty or the moody versions of the chords, and I've created a four chord progression. And then this time, instead of going with a GarageBand automatic drummer, I've actually dragged in a loop. And again, whether you're using GarageBand Logic or some other program, almost every recording software out there has a library of loops and beats that you can pull from and just drag them straight into your song. So with my tasty chords here, along with their corresponding bass notes here, and of course the drum loop, you get this really awesome sound. <laughs> the drag and drop chord pack and I'm not saying this is gonna solve all of your musical problems but what I am saying is I think this could be a really really helpful resource to you music makers out there who want to create songs but you don't necessarily play instruments or maybe you do play instruments but you don't play keys or maybe you play keys but your chord library is still kind of small this is me playing those chords saving them in a way that I can hand them off to you and you can basically have me playing chords in your session. So if you want to make the drag and drop chord pack a part of your music making tool belt, then be sure to check out the link in the description. And I hope this becomes a massive created tool for you as you make music in the coming year. This is Dean. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I'll catch you in another video very soon.